PDP leadership intervenes as Makinde and Fayoshe Fed deepens. The Fed between Governor Shei Makinde of Oyo State and Ayodele Fayoshe, former governor of Ekiti State, has further deepened the crisis in the southwest chapter of the People's Democratic Party PDP and is making reconciliation of aggrieved members a Herculean tax Daily Independent had gathered. Findings by a correspondent revealed that the duo had been at loggerheads over the control of the party in the zone. Fayoshe has been at loggerheads with Governor Mekinde over the latter's role in a Kitty PDP crisis as well as the leadership of the party in the southwest. Chairman of the party in Ekiti, Oshun, Ogun, and Lagos State have aligned with Fayoshe with the PDP chairman in Oyo and Ondo State took sides with Makinde. Sources in the party said, in line with the party's constitution, Makinde, as the only PDP governor in the southwest, is the leader of the party and should be given preference when decisions regarding the party are to be taken. He also has the responsibility of organizing the party and leading the assault for the reclaiming of other southwest states from the all-progressive Congress APC. However, the Fayoshe camp opposed making this alleged interference in the affairs of Ekiti PDP. According to them, the Oyo governor who sees Fayoshe as a threat is doing everything possible to take the control of the party from him and hand it over to Senator Abiodun Olujimi. The crisis escalated on November 11th when a zona faction led by Governor Mekinde set up the Reconciliation Committee headed by a former Oshun state governor, Olagun Shoye Oyinola Inabadon, which is expected to bring together aggrieved factions of the party in the zone. Two days later, the faction led by Fayoshe also set up a parallel zone reconciliation committee headed by engineer Femi Babalola. Other members of the committee are Chief Kolakbo Ogun Jobi, Ahmed Akandije Mustafa, Chief Idoun Odeyemi, and Chief Tunde Akindehim. Speaking with Daily Independent, Oloika, the Southwest Zona Director of the Media and Publicity of the PDP, alleged that Governor Mekinde is deliberately foiling rebellion in the party through his undue interference in the affairs of the state chapters. He said, there is really no crisis in the real sense of it. Rather, what is playing out in the party is the struggle for control, which is normal in any human organization. It is majority about someone arrogating to himself a kind of power that he does not have. When you are from Lagos and you want to control the organs of the PDP in my local council in Ekiti, there will definitely be resistance and that's exactly what is happening in the zone. To me, it is nothing to be worried about because in PDP, the moment the issue of party organs is settled, everyone will fall in line. It has happened in Ekiti before. In 2012, when we had 318 to 310, the group whose candidate won the state chairmanship with 318 votes went on to take all the state ESCO positions. The other group whose candidate got 310 votes did not get a singular member of the state ESCO. Two years after, PDP won the governorship election over Wehemli. Speaking further, Olaika said the truth is that Governor Mekinde chose to interfere particularly in the party issues in Ekiti, Oshun, and Ogun State. As the only governor that we have in the Southwest, he can intervene. But instead of interfering, he chose to interfere. And as expected, there was resistance from these states. For instance, in Ekiti State, he unilaterally made a formula for sharing local government and state ex school. He presented a proposal that all the six local government chairmen in Ekiti South Senatorial District be given to Senator Biodun Olujimi, that is a senatorial district where we have two immediate past House of Reps members and the 2018 governorship candidate, Kolakpo Olu Shola Eleke. Then he went further to propose that in Ekiti Central, where former governor Ayodele Fayoshe and people like us from Olujimi should produce the party secretary in the five local government areas. And he was told clearly that in Ekiti PDP, we don't have culture of sharing party positions. It has always been winner takes it all. Eventually, we had our Congress in Ekiti and elected ex schools at wards, local government areas, and state levels were ratified by the NEC. But ordinarily, to the decision of the party at the national level, 
Governor Mekinde chose to invite a self-appointed state chairman of the party to a meeting in Abaddon. So to us in Ikiti, the governor is deliberately foiling rebellion. You don't expect us to be clapping for him. However, responding to Olaika's claim, engineer Akim Olatunji, the Oyo State PDP Publicity Secretary, said the problem was because Fayoshe refused to accept the fact that Mekinde, as the only governor of the PDP in the Southwest, is the leader of the party in the zone. Olatunji, who described Olaika as an impersonator, said he is illegally parading himself as a zona publicity secretary of the PDP, adding that the position does not exist in the party. He is an impersonator, and what he has done is criminal in nation. It is criminal to him to be parading himself as the Southwest Zona Director of Media and Publicity because there is no such position in the hierarchy of PDP in Southwest. The public should just disregard him and the law enforcement agencies should take note of this act of impersonation. As far as we are concerned, Governor Mekinde is only interested in a viable PDP that can win election. He wants other states in the southwest to benefit from the method that was used by the PDP in Oyo State. As far as the southwest PDP led by Honorable Dayo Ogunberu, the caretaker chairman of the PDP in the southwest is concerned, he and his members have already set up a reconciliation team led by Chief Ulu Shonye Oyinola to reconcile all aggrieved members. All the anti-party activities that Lere Olaika and his paymasters are exhibiting should be curtailed by the national leadership. These people do not even have respect for the reconciliation team set up by the national leadership to reconcile aggrieved members throughout the nation. When Fayoshe was the governor, everybody accorded him respect, including Oyo PDP. But we don't know why it is difficult for him to accord Governor Mekinde the due respect as the PDP leader in the Southwest. Mekinde is not interfering in the running of the affairs of the PDP in any of the states, including Oyo. He allows us to operate the way we want in Oyo state, not to talk of all other states. When contacted, Kola Olo Bodia, the National Publicity Secretary of the party, said, the national leadership of the party has already intervened in the disagreement between the two leaders through the National Reconciliation Committee, headed by former Senate President Bukola Saraki. If you recall, the party constituted the National Reconciliation and Strategic Committee, headed by former Senate President Bukola Saraki. The responsibility of the committee is to look at all the areas of disagreement within the party and reconcile aggrieved members. The committee had made a mandate to look into the disagreement between Governor Mekinde and former Governor of Ekiti State, Ayodele Fayoshe, as well as all issues bordering on disagreement in the Southwest. All of this is power tussle. Anyway, guys, uh, um, let's hear your own take down below in the comment section. And don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates, bye for now and God bless.